Hey guys, before we kick off today's review, it's actually pretty cool if you like Oculus stuff. I need to say a humongous thank you to my legacy historians, Tony Allen and Sean Hammond, who helped me make these videos possible by supporting the financial cause of keeping us afloat. Same with all of the amazing people over here, our Dorka historians and early access historians who await every new video to come out and get early access to all of them uh, before anyone else does. Humongous thank you to all these amazing people. And don't forget, you can join yourself by hitting the join button down below. Thank you so much for watching and also take a look at the social medias. First Tim 412 on Twitter and official underscore legacy studio. If you want to see some of the paintings that I'm doing, tons of videos on that over on my Instagram. All right, without further ado, Let's get into our video today. Hey there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Halos again for Oculus Quest 2. Uh, and I've looked at a couple different options and found some that worked really well and some that were just terrible. And the most recent one is the one that's on here right now. Um, and you can see that I've had to make some alterations to this. I'll talk about that in just a second. This halo is uh, specifically from Oculus, uh, from Facebook or Meta, if you will. And the benefit of this one is that it does have a battery pack in the complete back end of this headset. Now, the problem with this for me is the back of my head is a little differently proportioned than the human head. So the only way I could even begin to make this fit on my head, and I don't mean comfortably, I mean even just fit, was to do some modifications with waterproof tape and what they call pre-wrap. And I had to put pre-wrap in here and then wrap it with this tape to raise out the top side so it would touch my head and not be nearly as much pressure on the bottom side of this harness. Now, this idea of this halo is a wonderful idea simply because this harness has a battery built in. So you can plug that into your system. And of course, now you have plenty of extra power, uh, power and battery life. It's a wonderful idea. But what if there was another option out there? Well, a company contacted me on my email and said, hey, we have a halo that we want to send your way and see what you think of it. Uh, now, full disclosure before we get started, uh, this company did contact me and asked me to review their headset uh, and to make a video on it. They have not made any stipulations on what I need to say. They did also send me a product code to give to you guys, which happens to be Legacy Studio, to get you a percentage off if you want to buy this headset for yourself. I have not even opened the box yet, so we're going to do an unboxing, first opinions, and put it to the test and see what I think of it. So this is it, the Ergonomic Design Enhanced Comfort VQ2 Strap for the Quest 2. And you may notice something a little interesting about it, and that is this extra mount that goes over the top with the harness on the top. Why is this? Well, apparently the man uh, who created this uh, decided that the idea of having the battery pack on the back side of your head might not be as comfortable for some people and maybe having it on the type top would be better and more importantly so what if you already have a power bank of your own well why not just take that and put it into a mount on the top of your headset use your own power bank to power your uh, headset a very interesting idea so let's open up the box and see what we think of it for ourselves so far basic box and right here, this is all wrapped up, oh, and the mount just fell out the bottom. Looks like it clips on with some plastic clips on the side. Uh, sticky adhesive on both sides, my assumption is, uh, unfortunately, the sticky adhesive happens to be stuck to the inside of the bag, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and pull out the strap, very thick foam here. Um, and the, yeah, unfortunately, the adhesive stickies are on the inside of the bag here. Let's see if we can still make use of them here. I will try to uh, stick this in place uh, and see if it will hold. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Um, so it looks like this battery pack holder stretches like a cell phone mount. 
uh, the um, sticky uh, pads here that I'm putting on here are rubber. The bottom feels like a rubber as well. Um, and uh, let's get this other one de-stuck from the bag here and uh, stick it to the side over here. A little bit of a shame that they slipped off. Not sure why they did. Uh, my suggestion is it might be that you want to clip a, a battery pack into here more permanently that you don't mind leaving in there. That way these pads don't move around too far. They're sticking back in there. I'm not sure about the longevity of them. Of course, maybe a dab of hot glue or something might hold them. Not dab of hot glue or dab of super glue might hold them in there more permanently. Uh, there is no strap that goes around this unless they provided one and I didn't see it. Nope, that's definitely not it. That's just a little extra there. Oh, this is nice. They provide an extra type C cable and I like that it's a uh, left, uh, like a like an L bracket so you can plug that in. Oh, and I see here the very top of the strap up here is what will house this thick foam padding here. So let's go ahead and slip this in here and uh, stick it in. That is Velcroed. That does not adhese. So that's perfectly fine in my book. Um, I didn't quite get it perfectly aligned, but I'm sure that will be fine. Let's go ahead and clip on the battery pack here and see how that sits. Nice and snug locking mechanism on the top there. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. The next thing to do is going to be to mount it to my goggles. Uh, there are two foam pads on each side of this. Um, I do like the, the look of this mount, quite honestly. It does look like it would actually be a bit more comfortable than the one I have now, especially with this ginormous pad on the backside here. Um, it is very, very large. Uh, also Velcroed in place and removable if need be. Um, we'll have to try this out. I'm excited about this. Um, and I, like I said, it's interesting that instead of having that battery pack on the back, you can put it on the top of your head. And, uh, okay. Uh, first thing I notice is you're not going to be putting it backwards. You can probably weight it a little bit backwards or forwards. But with this band here, uh, you cannot twist it back. And secondly, uh, if your head is only so large, you can only go back so far with this. I do also notice that there is a place for a strap on the back here. Not entirely certain what benefit that would be. I'm going to quickly look and see if there is any documentation on that here. Uh, so far, I do not see any kind of documentation that labels that in any way a necessity. I am not seeing that at all. So uh, that's a little extra. And, uh, and also they do provide the extra strap. So let's go ahead now and attach this to the uh, Quest 2 and see about how it attaches up to it. I think it'll attach just fine. Well, let's put it to the test and then we'll uh, slip it on and see how it feels. So with the original uh, uh, halo that I have here, and it's not, this one isn't even a halo. This one is a bit more of a standard um, mount system. Uh, that you would use a standard, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, halos go around the top of your head and hold on to the goggles from these two bars. This is technically more like a normal harness that you would get when you get it with the Oculus Quest 2. An important thing to note, the uh, box that I have to carry my Oculus Quest 2 in uh, does fit this though very snugly. I doubt at all that it will fit this. And then let's go ahead and just slip this in place and see about how easily it clips in. As I'm sliding it in here, it's doing just fine. It looks like on the inside of this, there is a lip, which is only going to let this slide in as far as that lip is. That is fitting in there quite nicely. And let's go ahead and apply our goggles, uh, our front-facing uh, piece here. As I'm trying to slide it in, it's bumping into something. So I'm going to tilt the halo back just a little bit and push it in place. 
it's very interesting to not have that uh, that strap that straps through here. So these goggles are officially being held completely on your face just with the halo, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and try it on and see how it fits for comfort. And then after that, then I'll go ahead and try and mount a battery on top. I have a couple of them. We'll see what fits and see uh, how well it works and go from there. But so far, so good on this. Uh, this could be a very comfortable uh, halo with lots of different adjustments to it. Let's see how it feels though. Let me go ahead and take off my headset here. I'll try to have you hear me. We'll see how this goes. All right, so I know it's down a little low, but let's see about how well we can deal with the audio in this process. I'm gonna take off my glasses though. Sometimes I do wear them when I am wearing my goggles. Let's go ahead and uh, first off, just make sure already I, I get the antsiness because I'm feeling my head touching this one up here. And it just catches me off guard that there is something up there. But let's go ahead and just press it into place here and make some adjustments. That is actually very comfortable in comparison to my old... Let me get this closer. In comparison to my old headset, this is really comfortable. Nice top mount there. That does feel really good. There's not a ton of pressure on the back of my head. That makes me very happy. I am not directly feeling a lot of pressure from the front, but all the same, it's doing quite well. Let me show you the three different power banks I'm going to try out today. Uh, they're three different sizes, three different powers. Um, some of the, like one of them I got at a trade show. That's super small, kind of made just to charge your cell phone. Does have a single USB on there. And technically, okay, it's got enough charge to see if it'll charge. Um, if you go to a trade show, some companies will buy these and put their logo on them and then give them away. Uh, this is one I got for Christmas. And this is a very simple little single port USB as well, uh, fully charged. This is the on dot, uh, probably something you can get at, uh, at Walgreens for really, really cheap. And then uh, this one here that came from the trade show is 3,000 milliamp hours. This one here is much larger, about double the size. This is 8,000 milliamp hours. And then this guy is the heaviest, the biggest one, the uh, Ramos uh, battery packs. These suckers are huge and heavy. I don't expect this to work. And even if it does, it is incredibly, incredibly heavy. But 30,000 milliamp hours, technically a little less than that. They market it as 30,000. It's real number. Oh, no, this one really is 30,000. I got another one that says 30 on it, but it's really like 27. But still, humongous batteries. Usually what I do if I use one of these guys is I take it and I stick it in my back pocket and I run a cable up to the headset. But I don't want to pull like crazy on the Type-C connector and cause damage. So the idea of having a small cable like this, very, very appealing. So let's go ahead and uh, put this to the test. And we'll go ahead and plug in the Type-C connector here. Uh, when you have that Type-C connector in there, if you're concerned, plenty of room to plug in your headset. Uh, I do have uh, earbuds. I do not use a headset, especially with these kinds. Uh, you might be able to get away with a headset with this. Uh, you know, like, like cans, uh, the radio DJs that I work with and I, we call them cans, but technically in this situation, I just use some really, really small headphones that I have purposefully, um, uh, rebuilt, uh, to, to be able to just go through on each side and just plug into my ears. Um, now the nice thing about having the old strap, and I would even consider maybe putting it back on for this purpose, is that it helps hold these headsets in place. Otherwise, it's just dangling wires everywhere. And I've already caught, cut them and soldered them to make them smaller. Um, so, and these are like little Sony uh, base headsets. They're really cheap. You can get them on Amazon. And all I do is I just have them just like that so that they're hanging off the bottom. And I can easily plug them into my ears. 
So let's go ahead and start with the simplest one, which I'm sure will work just fine and we'll work our way up to the 30,000 milliamp hour battery. So let's see if this fits first. I think it is without question that it's a very easy fit. Uh, now what I'm going to do is simply put the headset on uh, and then we're going to plug it in here and see if the headset is charging. Some of these ba battery banks will just kind of randomly turn off on their own. So you got to kind of watch out for that. But let's just see what happens here. So this is all plugged in. Technically, it should be charging. Let me go ahead, take the headset off uh, that I'm using to talk to you guys. And let's see what happens when I put these goggles on. See if there's a charging uh, uh, emblem inside on the screen. Once again, it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, let me go ahead and... Are you working? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Sorry, I was looking for hand gestures there. Now they're working and I'm looking directly into my light that I'm using to light me. Uh, so right now my battery does not show that it is charging. It does show that it seems full. Let me go ahead and check one thing here as I click on this. It says 96%. Let me find the battery pack up top here and just hit the power button on it. Now we're technically charging. So yes, it is taking a charge from this. Uh, if I unplug the type C, this has been charging off the old, uh, the old one. So the charger is already at 95. The uh, headset is already at 95%. So technically, um, I am not feeling any difference in weight as I wiggle my head around. Something's making a little bit of a wiggle. Technically, I think I might be feeling the pack on the top, the plastic, just barely moving backwards and forwards. Yeah, definitely. It is on there solidly, but it does move. It does move. So if you move your head back and forward, you kind of feel it moving back and forward. Yeah, that, I, I can see that being a little annoying, but uh, a small price to pay for comfort. Let's try one of the other packs. The other statement that I think is pretty important to mention is uh, simply that this is super light in comparison to the ones that we're going to be trying up next year. I'm so sorry about my hair. It's a mess. So next up, we're going to move on to the ONN dot thing that you can probably get from like Walgreens or something. I think this is kind of a bit more kind of battery pack that they're kind of expecting that you're going to use. 8,000 milliamp hours is nothing to laugh at. Uh, it's a good size. It will definitely make your headset last a bit longer. Let's see if it behaves as we hope it will. And I'm sorry if I'm quiet uh, because I don't have my headset close. Let's go ahead and pop this on. And with this one, just looking at it, it's already charging. I didn't even have to turn it on. I guess it sensed that it had power. And so it's already charging. Now my headset has already dropped 1% down to 94, but technically uh, it is already um, saying that it's going up. Oh, there's an update. Perfect timing to install an update. Not exactly what I want for Oculus TV. I'm going to cancel that for right now. <laughs> uh, though I love new updates when they release updates, usually for Oculus. You want to download them pretty quick. All right, let's do the shake test. Okay, there is definitely a lot more weight up there. Let me try tightening this down. There's a lot more weight, but it doesn't feel bad. Let's see what happens if I push this back. That actually feels a bit back weighted, but it's nice. I don't mind that. The back and forth wiggle. It's very slight, but it's there. Not so much left, not so much rotating, but back and forth. Can you hear that? That's the only thing, but technically, once again, uh, if I whip my head around, I really don't see a difference. But if I can feel the weight difference on this one, this is 8,000 milliamp hours. It'll do just fine as long as it stays on. I think certain chargers are just going to turn off at a certain point in time. Let's try the 30,000 milliamp hour. I don't even know if it'll fit in this thing. Let's see if it even fits in the uh, the mount. This next one is going to be the interesting one, that's for sure. I'm very curious about this. So let's go ahead and take out this one. I got to admit, this 
headset makes me want to keep this with it. And considering I just keep it sitting in a in a in a tub, this is the perfect use for it. So here we go. This thing is so heavy in comparison. I Okay, technically it fits, which is kind of amazing. I'm going to center it on the top of this. I'm sure the people who sent me this to review are going, no, 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 no. That <laughs> wouldn't surprise me at all because it is quite heavy. But let's see what happens. I'm going to plug it in. Now, the nice thing about these big chargers is they have double ports. They have a type three port, which is more powerful, even a type C. So if I wanted to, I could go type C from the headset, type C into this. I do like that they provided a cable that has a normal USB though. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the moment where where I'm going to very quickly reel how unwise this is to have something this heavy on my head. Let's see what happens here. Screwing it down. It is obviously charging. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is heavy. Let's try and tilt it towards the back. <laughs> definitely. Oh, oh. Okay, there is definitely a benefit of them doing the idea where. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That that'll give you whiplash. Yeah. So 30,000 milliamp hour. Do not suggest that. Put that in your back pocket if you go that route. Um. But yeah, I'm impressed. It's holding it so well because it is holding it really, really well. I. Wow. And once again, it's clicking back and forth, so a lighter one is definitely more important. It's gonna last longer, that's for sure. Let me check the battery power. It, it's definitely trying to charge right now. Still says 94%. And obviously the real way, <laughs> the real way we're gonna test this is have to play some games. Um, but I mean, just the theory of this whole idea is absolutely working 100 i do feel the weight on my neck so don't do 30,000. do 8,000. i think 8,000 is a good weight it's a good size for this where it's not over encompassing um so that's my first impressions and i'm gonna leave the video at that uh if you want to see more ask questions down below in the comments and i will see what i can do to answer your questions um it is a competitor it really really is in my opinion it is a competitor. It is, in my opinion, more comfortable than my other head strap that I use, which is the one you buy directly from Oculus. Um, this is a competitor. So uh, I, I'm, I'm loving the idea of this. Now it's time to wear it for a while, put it to the test for, you know, a little, a uh, couple weeks and see how it does, how long it lasts, and uh, certainly just play with it and see what becomes obnoxious. That'll become obnoxious. I would wonder if maybe some kind of tissue or foam pad or something inside underneath that mount where it grabs the plastic, if maybe that would help hold it in place a little better or something. But little tests that I might have to do to just try and see if it'll work better one way or another. Things I can do in the future. Like I said, leave comments down below if you have any questions. We're going to leave it at that. I got to get this off my head. It's starting to hurt. Okay, as I wrap up my video here, I want you to know that I plan on maybe doing some more videos on it if you guys ask questions and you want to know a little bit more. You guys asking those questions helps me know if more videos should be made on a certain topic or certain product. In saying that, uh, out of the kindness of the hearts of the people that sent this to me to for review, don't forget it, this was sent to me for free to review and give my honest impressions of. If you're interested in getting it for yourself, first off, it's about a third of the cost that the uh, Pro Strap is that you get with the battery pack from oculus that's the first thing so if you have a charging bank it's really worth considering and then secondly if uh, when you check out use the product code legacy studio it's going to get you 10 percent off um, and i deeply appreciate them for putting together that product code so that we can get you an even better discount than what you're already paying it's first impressions are really good now we need to put it to the test a little bit so you can always keep an eye out here but make sure you ask those questions those questions will dictate whether or not we make more videos on it so god bless you keep it crispy first Tim 412 and i'll see you next time right here on legacy studio thank you so much for watching my videos i appreciate it smack that like button subscribe leave a comment
and maybe even consider becoming an early access member of the channel by hitting the join button. Give it some thought. I'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye!